Hey Andrew here, I'm back with my last article in the Builder Shop with Next.js and Stripe series. In this video I walk through the process of enabling a user to purchase one of our products on the hosted Stripe checkout page. Okay, so we've got uh, this page here we need to set up. So we need to set up this checkout sessions.js and this is going to be an API route and what it will do is take the posted details from the product page and then send that off to Stripe. And in this way, it's going to protect our Stripe secret key. Okay, so let's create that file. Copy that text first. Okay, it has to be in the API folder because it's a API route handler here. and paste it in there and save that. Okay, so it only accepts post methods. There, uh, it will take that price ID from the form. If not, it's gonna throw an error. And if that's the case, if it's not the case, then we can then take the user through to a Stripe session. And we have a line item here where we take that price ID and add the quantity and supply it with the likes of what type of payment mode it is and also have a success URL and cancel URL which we'll make in a sec. Okay, so that's been created. Let's switch between that to our content here on the article. Okay, so again, talking about the same about the, it will only allow post requests. Uh, in the previous step, the form of price ID value that we can post to this new checkout sessions API route is there. Yep. And on the product page, we need to add the Stripe front end library, which generates a new shopping object. So let's in first install that via the terminal. We need to do this for our front end. Okay. Um, and now we can get that to start up. Okay, so once that's been added, we can add this to the index.js. So this is technically our products page. Uh, this is the default page that the website will load up uh, using Next.js. So if we go to our, again, it has to be in the pages folder index here, and we can paste this in above the component there. We need it to be both the component, uh, otherwise it's going to make a new Stripe promise there every single time. Okay, that we reload the page. We don't want that to happen, so that's why we paste it outside of the components render. Um, we need to also create a success file and a cancelled. Okay, so let's grab that file name. Again, this is a page, and we need a cancelled as well. All right, let's grab the success one first. And grab the cancelled. Okay, so that's saved, that's all saved there, yeah, that's saved. All right, those are all saved. Uh, in the checkout sessions file, we supply a success URL and a canceled URL, and this is where we redirect the user from the checkout page. All right, okay, so we've got all that set up. Let's load up our page here. Okay. Let's check that. Uh, if we click on the buy now button, it's going to take us through to the checkout Stripe page. Okay, so I'm just going to enter a test email address there. 
Uh, I'm just going to use a test credit card for Stripe there, which is lots of 42s. Uh, make that 24. And click on the pay. Okay, so that's a success. And that comes back to my success page. Okay. If we click on the return to products page, we can go back to the products themselves. So we've got the products and we can, we can do the same again, click on the buy now. Uh, we can see that uh, we can cancel, we can go back. We have our order cancelled. Okay, so it's just going over that again. That's it. We've now completed the display products and have a checkout page working. Nicely done. Uh, if you get stuck along the way there, I have created a GitHub repo of this project. And it has branches for each stage there. So that last one being the purchase product Stripe checkout. Uh, if you don't want to have to go through all of that setup, um, you can test this out just in a code sandbox as well. Uh, I've created this as well here. So you can create your own version, uh, maybe fork it, have a play around. Of course, you're going to have to add your environment variables for it. But um, it's it's a good starting point to, to have a play with this kind of tool and be able to get your own products up and running.